Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Prime Row from Kamen Rider Bill. He's definitely one of my favorite characters. I'm really glad we're getting another form. And yeah, anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And from what I've heard, the cloth goods on this guy is not very good, so we probably still have to get a third party one, but yeah, I'll find that out later. And yeah, let's check it out. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, and this guy does not come with a whole lot. Um, now I understand why the aftermarket price is not so good, but anyways, um, let's check it out. Still looks great. Oh, fudge. Alright, and here we have the figure itself, and my first impression on this figure is okay. Um, I mean, this is basically just your usual SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider. Um, everything's very nicely painted and sculpted, no paint issues, all that good jazz. And I've always been a big fan for Kamen Rider Rogue. Um, this is supposed to be a crocodile, but I feel like kind of looks like a beetle, which is pretty cool. And let's just take a closer look at the figure. And yeah, um, on top of Kamen Rider Rogue, this is just a better version of Kamen Rider Rogue, so what's there not to like? Um, I like the gold, the purple, um, the white, black, like, it just looks really good. The metallic paint is always welcome. And for the cloth cape, um, this time around, the material feels like, um, kind of feels like a raincoat, but it kind of sucks, it's like, it's just kind of a sheet of paper without wiring and stuff, so I might need to get a third party version. And I find it kind of weird they make the leg um, design like this, I'm not really sure how to um, explain this but it's a little bit crooked and I guess it's really good for posing like this um, if you are a big fan of doing like poses like this so yeah uh, it is what it is and let's just check out the articulation let me know in the comments on what you think though and for the articulation let's quickly go over it from the neck down he can look up about this much look down about this much well can't really look down and you can tilt his head side to side no problem and the shoulder we do have a pull out method and you can raise his arm up about this much and you do have on um, bicep swivel can curl about this much and you do get the ball wrist and for the ab crunch um, you can only bend forward about this much uh, bend backwards about this much have some very good side to side movement and for the leg we have the usual pull down method can kick out about this high bend about this much thigh swivel side to side pivot and toe hinge and i gotta say like the pivoting is really nice even though this looks a little bit weird like it's not straight um and the cloth goods or like um, the cape it is what it is um at least it's very accurate from the show so as it is um if you're just having him like in a vanilla pose it should be fine but with wiring and stuff uh, you can do a lot of really cool fighting poses like in the show and i think in the show like the cape actually comes off and kind of acts like a doctor strange um kind of cape like you know it moves around and stuff and he just take it back i don't know but yeah um, let me know in the comments on what you think and since he only came with two pairs of hands i'm just gonna go to the action posing and yeah um, let's check it out And for the size comparison, let us start with some Comrade of Bill figures, and I think they look amazing together. Comrade of Bill is still very popular, so I imagine to see Bandai making a lot more. And then we have some other Comrade Riders from different series, and I think they look really good together as well. And then we have some good old Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts, some Jujutsu Kaisen and Naruto SH Fig Arts. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I ended up liking the figure quite a lot, and I do highly recommend it. Beautiful paint work, amazing sculpt, he's gonna look amazing on your shelf. Um, but the lack of accessories and wire capes and some design issues, he is not that expensive for the aftermarket, which could be a good thing. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric, don't forget to like and subscribe, and be safe, stay clean. Um, COVID is still like really scary and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.